Lyndon Barwa Jr., currently based in St. Louis, Missouri. I guess I would describe myself as a project-based artist, so not really uh, settled on any one medium or material. It's letting an interest or an idea guide uh, how the project takes shape. And so that could involve a variety of materials or approaches. So I guess a really obvious or, or apparent through line is the use of CMYK, which has been used as like a, a framing device lately, which started uh, from my use of the magazine and, and taking more of an interest in uh, printed materials as, as kind of a point of departure for uh, paintings or uh, kind of image-based collages or even sculptures, uh, but really thinking about uh, the materiality of print, uh, but then also the the, the seemingly straightforward um, color or printing process um, using you know, that four color uh, system to make images, uh, but actually yields quite a complex read for me. Uh, at Bemis, I initially started by making works that I'd planned uh, in the months prior that I never got around to. Um, and those were kind of a collection of uh, found images, printing like graphics that you would use to sort of check your printer, some found text, um, framing those within one composition. One of the things that I really wanted to work on is, is reincorporating painting into these kinds of situations. So for the last few years I've been working primarily with like found uh, subject matter and uh, moving away from my foundation, which is sort of drawing and painting, now finding ways to, to, to re, um, I guess re-engage with the practice of painting and finding a way to merge uh, this act of like actually like kind of manually constructing an image uh, with more of the found uh, material sources. Taking more time to, to, work with thing, to work in ways that I've been working in, which is um, which is n nice and, and kind of new. Like I've usually move on to something different like really quickly. Um, so it's been nice to actually have the time to delve a bit deeper into some things that I've already been doing. And then also allowing myself to be influenced by other residents and the way that they work. And so um, I think like placement and like, I guess, t being even more considerate of, of like kind of objects as they are or just materials as they are and placing them in conversation with other things. Um, and also like the development of new materials. So um, newspaper wood is something that I've like came, come across uh, a couple years ago uh, that was developed by another designer in the Netherlands. And it was fitting for me since I was working from so many printed uh, sources anyway, that that sort of metaphorically spoke to like a lot of things involving sort of time and history and the accumulation of information. And so that material, first of all, making it, which is very tedious, basically making a log out of newspaper to then mill as you would normal wood um, and the result sort of mimics the wood grain of actual wood is poetic in and of itself because it kind of returns paper back to its source um, but for me um, to use that material to then um, play off of resulting images that I guess aligns with my interest in constructed experiences um, and the dissemination of information uh, so that's something that I've had the opportunity to actually make and, and have in hand instead of sort of obsess over images online <laughs> of that particular material.